Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So yung pag-uusapan natin today is isa na namang buy now, pay later platform. And bakit naman hindi? Gusto natin, marami tayong choices. And remember guys, dito sa aking channel, um, bawal yung judgment. Ingay ng kapitbahay. I am so sorry about it. Disclaimer, as usual, um, this video is... This video is not sponsored by Tendo Pay. And again, I am another user of Tendo Pay. And gusto ko lang i-share yung aking experience with this, especially yung sa application part. And like I said, bawal yung judgmental. Pero namang magsasabi dyan na kakahiya, may utang. Huwag nyo silang pansinin kasi alam nyo, secretly interested din sila. So, nagpapanggap lang yan na ayaw daw nila, kunyari lang. Huwag na natin patagalin pa yung pag-uusapan natin today is Tendo Pay and kung paano mag-apply. Ba si Tendo Pay? Well, tulad ng mga ibang buy now, pay later platforms, um, Tendo Pay is easy access. You can use your phone to use Tendo Pay and then easy management. Again, meron siyang app. And then you can also, it's convenient kasi you can do a lot of things with just the app and your phone. And also, you can shop faster with more merchants. It's safe daw and konti lang yung requirements niya. So, ano nga ba yung mga requirements ni Tendo Pay? Kailangan lang nila yung number one is valid email address and your phone number. And then, clear photo and your selfie together with your ID. When it comes to ID guys, meron kang limang pagpipilian. Yung driver's license, SSS, passport, PRC, UMID, or unified multi-purpose ID. So, kung wala kayong IDs na other than that, kay contact na lang customer service nila if you don't have any of those IDs. Ano naman yung mga tinatanggap nila as proof of income? Yung mobile phone bill, electric bill, water bill, phone bill, cable TV bill, internet bill, and kung, again, kung wala kang ni isa sa mga si, binanggit ko, then it's better you ask. Tendo, nasa app din naman nila on yung contact info nila. Again, I'm not a representative of Tendo Pay. I'm just a Tendo Pay user. And when it comes to proof of income naman, they will accept your payslip for as long as it's not older. The payslip is not older than two months. Usual na tinatanong ng karamihan, do I need a bank account or credit history to start using Tendo Pay. So the good news is that you don't need a bank account or credit history to use Tendo Pay. Kada sa Tendo Pay is medyo um, lack siya compared with other buy now pay later platforms. So how long does the process approval process takes place? So maximum of one business day pag na-complete mo yung application. Mas madaling mag-apply sa website. Kung sometimes merong something sa app nila na hindi mo makikita sa website nila and there's a certain part ng application process sa app na idadirect ka pa rin naman sa website. So, it's best na dun ka na lang pumunta sa website which is app at or app.tendopay.ph Kaya-create ka ng account. Three ways to create your account. Sign up with your Facebook, sign up with your Apple ID, or you can give them your email address and your phone number which is dapat verified siya in the end. Pag pinili mo yung third option which is to give them your email address and your phone number, you will be prompted or you will be asked kung i-accept mo yung terms and conditions and recognize that in order to for them to pay to evaluate my application for their service, they would need to collect personal information. Ito yung part na kung saan yung karamihan is not comfortable kasi ito yung question dyan is safe pa siya. So far, according to their website, safe naman siya, um, registered naman siya, legit naman siya. And the fact that it is uh, um, accepted as a payment option for Lazada and Zalora makes it um, nakakabigay siya ng sense of security na mukhang safe nga siya. And as a company that lends money, then it's just natural for them to gather your personal information kasi they'll be using that to determine whether i-approve kanila or hindi. Yung pinili ko kasi is yung third option. So, uh, i-confirm yan yung mobile number mo. So, um, to do that, magsasend siya ng code sa mobile number mo and then you'll gonna, kailangan mo ilagay yung code na yan para um, to continue with the application. After mong ma-confirm yung phone number, you will see that they have um, broken down the application process into three major steps. So, yung identification, yung additional questions, and yung um, ID. The first step is identification, and this part is merong other, um, merong siyang hihingin mga questions. And then, you're gonna give them your first, last, your middle name, your date of birth, and then your gender. So, ito na yung start ng pag-collect nila ng personal, in personal information mo. 
and then you can click next. Then these are the same things na makukuha nila pag nag-connect ka ng Facebook account mo. But if not, then you'll give them your personal info and then you can click next. And after that, hihingi niya yung address mo. Please take note guys na later on, hihingi sila ng proof of billing. So your proof of billing, uh, kung place kung saan ipapadeliver yung mga items na ibibilhin mo through the buy now, pay later platform and yung address na ibibigay nyo mo sa kanila should match. No exemptions. Hihingi nila kung how long you've stayed there and then you can click next. So they will also ask for additional information and hihingi nila yung um, reference mo. So, sa madaling uh, salita guys, this is the part kung saan ibibigay mo yung tao na pwede lang i-contact in the event na hindi ka nila makontak. Alam nila yung sinasabi ko dito. Para maiwasan yung ganyan hassle, this is, it's important na up-to-date yung account sa mga buy now, pay later platforms or kahit na sa anong mga online loans. So, pag nabigay mo yung reference, yung personal info mo, um, then you can proceed with the next step which is additional questions where they will ask yung mga residence type, if it's rented, if it's owned, yung mga kung meron ka mga kids, yung uh, they just simply want to get to know you. So, they're asking all these questions and gusto nilang malaman kung gumagamit ka ng prepaid or postpaid phone and kung gaano ka nakatagal sa current job mo and then what percent of your monthly income do you put into savings? So, nasa inyo na yun. Kung nung gusto nyong um, isagot and then continue gusto rin lang malaman kung meron kang existing loans i honestly told them yes because meron din akong bill ease and meron din akong home credit and yun lang yung mga additional questions and finally yung income documents so they will ask you kung saan ka nagtatrabaho um i think okay lang if you're not employed kasi for me um I am not sure kung how strict they are or if they allow people na um, walang income. But basically, they need someone na makakashow sa kanila that you have may pumapasok na income sa sa'yo consti consistently para malaman nila if they're, you're capable of paying for the loan. So, that is why they want to know kung may trabaho ka, kung saan nagagaling yung monthly mong pera. So, yun. Katapos mong ibigay sa kanila yung yung employment info mo. Here's the fun part, yung paghingi ng ID, guys. Now, yung masasabi ko dito, guys, sa start pa lang, di ba, binigay ko sa inyo yung list of acceptable IDs. Sa start pa lang, uh, mag-decide na kayo kung anong ID yung gagamitin nyo sa pag-apply. Kasi, midway through, pag merong, nagka, pag nagkamali ka ng upload, hindi mo siya basta-basta maibabalik sa start para to start new, yung sa ID. Without even thinking about it, Pinili ko yung driver's license. When they ask for your ID, a picture of your ID, it's either kukuha ka ng actual picture or i-upload mo yung previous picture ng ID mo. I just uploaded an, an old photo, yung mga previous kong kinuhang photo of my ID kasi alam nyo dati na ako nag-apply ng ibang apps. And then, tinanggap naman ni Tendo Pay, but then when the part came na kung saan magsiselfie ka together with your ID, dun ko na-realize na nawala ko pala yung ID ko. So, I wanted to change ID kasi... Nung in-upload ko na yung picture ng ID ko guys, hindi na ako pwedeng bumalik para palitan ko yung first na picture na in-upload ng ID ko. So, hindi ako makapag-proceed kasi hindi rin ako makapag-selfie together with my ID kasi yun nga, wala akong ganun. I tried contacting or emailing their customer service in, uh, their customer service and sabi, pwedeng i-reset yung part kung saan magbibigay ako ng ID. I want to change the ID that I submitted kasi nawala pala yung driver's license ko. Walang sumagot. So, yung masasabi ko lang tip dito, guys, is that um, from the start, guys, i-prepare nyo na kaagad. Kung mag-decide na kayo kung alin dun sa limang IDs yung gagamitin nyo and i-prepare nyo. Um, kasi hindi ka pwede mag-change ng mind mo midway through the process. So, and then, kasi one week na, walang sumasagot. And then, I realized meron pala akong dating selfie together with my ID. Sinamit ko yung selfie ko, yung old selfie ko. And then, siguro less than one hour natanggap ko na yung email tsaka text na I was approved. And yung initial amount na binigay sa akin na credit limit was 3,600. Which is good kasi inaccept nila. Um, I didn't have to take an actual picture ng ID tsaka ng selfie ko with my ID. Tinanggap naman nila yung existing pictures na nasa phone book. Nasa albums na dun sa phone ko. I was approved and meron akong 3,600 
and nagamit ko siya sa aking Lazada purchase. So, ito lang yung masashare ko sa inyo guys about my experience applying for Nintendo Pay account. Again, walang masama sa pag apply sa mga ganitong pla platforms, especially na mukhang le uh, legit naman siya first lang sa babayaran and of course yung advantage pag nababayaran mo and good yung record mo is lalaki yung credit limit mo and at the same time kung the next time na kailangan mo makakaulit ka let me know kung anong naging experience nyo and if you have other tips share nyo na rin sa baba and I hope I see you again soon thanks have a good day bye